what was your transition like then to commentary? Was that, hey, do commentary, you're fired, or hey, no. we just need somebody? Uh... In my head, it's, hey, do commentary, you're fired, but it's, um, it's Bruce Pritchard, actually, who comes to me August 5th. I always remember these dates. Hey, listen, your name came up in the meeting, and uh, some Joey Styles mentioned you, Vince agreed, thought you might be good on commentary. Be on cans, headsets at 4.30 at ringside, we'll give you a shot. Again, let me tell you something. I spent a lot of time by myself playing with action figures. My mother has cassette tapes of me calling matches, play-by-play, -play, color, promos, you name it. Rip, I've been doing this since I'm seven, it looks like. Sit down at that table. Kevin Dunn, Vince McMahon, they all hear me. Takes him two seconds. Like, all right, he, he's at least passionate. Next. Nice. Well, Rip has always told us in every training ever, no matter what, when they ask you, can you do this? Yep. <laughs> yep. Answers I yes. got it. Yep. I can do it. It's like San, when Santino asked him if he could speak Italian. Oh, yeah. See, yep. Yeah, he had two weeks to learn it. Yep. Yeah. And what's great about it is, A, now you're – you're on every show. You're in every match. It's not just your, your nine to 12 minutes out there. You're in every match now and you're telling stories and it became fun. And for a while I was the new flavor. Everyone loved it. I called it like a sport. I, gosh, guys, I can't stand when guys get up there in their promo stance. They think they're so good yet they're rubbing their hands together or they're swaying side to side and they call it an industry or in this business. It's a sport. And I called it as such. And for a moment, guys like Sergeant Slaughter and Tony Guerrero, who was still in, back there as producers, they appreciated that authenticity. Uh, and then after a while, that all went away. <laughs> <laughs> Did you go back then and look? Now, now you accept the commentary role. Hey, I'm going to do this, do this best I can. Did you start watching old wrestling and, and picking up on old commentary? Or did you new commentary or just mm -hmm. do your own thing? I, I don't I didn't think I had to go back to watch because the catalog's there. I think true wrestling fans will nod. You, you don't need to go back and watch Tommy Rich Buzz Sawyer. You can picture it right now. I'm talking about in the Omni with the cage and all that. You can picture it if you know what I'm talking about. You don't need to go back and watch it. And you can't, by the way. So that's Well, I, I was just meaning more like listen to Lance Russell or listen to Gordon Soley or those kind of things. Right. No, because I don't want to. Here's the thing for today's wrestlers out there. Please. Don't hold yourself up to, to Harley Race, Roddy Piper. You can't. This is the only sport where we can't do that. Look, in baseball, you can hold Shohei Otani up to Babe Ruth because there are numbers. And then you can have a deeper conversation about different pitches and such. In wrestling, you can't. So find a way to define yourself on your merit. And please don't use identity as a crutch. Please do all oh, the first insert identity politics here, wrestler. That's not going to sustain. So yeah. with that said, I can't try to be Lance Russell. I can't try to be Gordon Soley. I just had to be, I was little Matthew into big Matthew. You know, my thing is enjoy the ride. If we're yeah. going to see, there's, you can choose from the tree of life. You can choose from the tree of knowledge. There's a reason. You can either try to control your life. God bless you. You can try. You're still going to end up in the same ditch that I'm going to end up in. The same ditch, the president, the queen, we're all going to go in the same ditch. It's a ride. So no, I never said to myself, oh, I wish I was doing this. I was like, the paychecks were coming in. I was alive. I was with them traveling. I was on every show. Fuck yeah. How did the income with, with WWE? Was that your choice, their choice? How did that how did that go down? It would never have been my choice. The check <laughs> well, was people coming do in. Leave. I mean, <laughs> every week that check came in. Every yeah. week. Uh they had they had me in several different positions. I was there coming up on my third contract. So I was making very, very good, a very good living. And I wasn't doing much. So from a business standpoint, that doesn't make sense. Had they said to me, we need you to do more, I would have said, absolutely. Had they said to me, we're going to pay you less, I would have said, absolutely. But instead, they just <laughs> said, we're not doing anything with you anymore. Because with what we pay you, we can pay four or five other people. And I couldn't argue with that. So there I was without that income anymore. And uh, that's how it ended abruptly, just like that. Big gold and a billfold, so swole that I can't get the shit closed. So I money fold and rubber band wrap, and when it pops.